friends around me as much as I wanted them. They just weren't good for me, and I was surrounded by amazing people now. I started reading my Bible all the time, going to church for myself, and the youth group was okay, but I didn't know many people. And then I heard about this trip to OMAC, and I really didn't want to go because I didn't know anybody, and I, I started to pray to God about it, and I ended up going to a Wednesday discipleship and meeting some pretty amazing girls who made me really happy. And I, they didn't give me problems, and I could talk to them about God without being ignored. But then I started having problems with the one friends that were still around me. And so I started praying even more, and I got even closer to the girls that I had met at my discipleship and hanging out with them outside of church. And then I decided I wanted to go on the OMAC trip. And I think the best part about my journey with God and my walk with Him is that I watched God turn this monster who was supposed to be my mom into an amazing person who I actually love to be around now, and we're working on our relationship. It was really hard for me to forgive her, but while I was reading one day, God gave me a verse that pushed me to forgive her and fix our relationship through him. And it was Ephesians 4.32, And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. In the time that I was sick, I still didn't want to eat a lot, and even throughout finding God until I was and even throughout finding God, I still struggled with it until I got a verse while I was reading Matthew. And it was Matthew 6:25 through 34. I won't read the whole thing because it's really long. But it says, For this reason I say to you, do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor for the body as to what you will put on it. Is life not more important than food, and the body not more important than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky, that they do not reap nor sow, nor gather crops into barns, and yet your 